Isn't it sometimes hard going through life? Your relationship with your spouse or the people you're working with might not be going so well. You know something is not going right, but you don't know how to solve it. The problem looks too big and you're completely overwhelmed to fix it. So you just stop thinking about it and wish one day the problem will vanish. But you know in your heart that it won't. In this video, I'm going to share the mindset shift that changed my life. Just before we dive into it, if you're new here, hi, my name is Joey and this channel is all about self-development tips to change your mindset and change your life. So if this sounds good to you, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell. Nobody is living a perfect life, but we can't change our life if we don't even try to reach out for it. First of all, are you even aware of what your emotions are whispering or screaming inside you? If you don't pay attention to those little voices, by pretending your life is somehow okay, you will end up living someone else's life. A life that's not truly what you wanted. So my question to you is, what do you hate in life? What do you need to improve? What do you want? Be fully present on what your emotions are telling you. Being aware is crucial and needs some training, but first, the easiest way is to write down all your emotions and wishes on a piece of paper. You might realize how much unsatisfied you are now with your life. You might be stuck and not where you wish to be. You might be far away from what you dreamed of when you were a kid. But that's exactly why you need to change. As Darwin said, the species most adaptable to change survives. We're all here to change and grow, not to stay in the same spot and repeat a boring and mediocre life. Once you've identified the problems going around in your life, things you're completely fed up with, the things you know is going wrong, the things you need to change to become a happier human being, you have two options to either blame others and the environment or to take ownership of that problem. Taking ownership is one of the most important mindsets you could ever have. Your spouse might not be nice to you. Your body might not be in good shape. You might not have the money you need. You might be too young to change your company. If all of these things are a problem in your life and a problem that you need to solve to make your life happier, then go for it. The worst thing you could do is to blame it to someone else. Well, you might not be the one that can always solve the problem directly. You might not be the CEO of your company. You might not be able to change other people's minds. But the question you need to ask yourself is this. What can I do to solve this problem? It doesn't matter who you are or where you come from or which position you're in. What can you do? Just because the environment around you is awful, it doesn't mean you have to react the same way and fit in. You are independent from whatever is around you. You always have the choice to decide. Try stop saying why am I the one that needs to sacrifice or apologize or do the extra work. Yes, it's hard. It's really hard. But again, is the problem something worthwhile solving? If it is, why leave it until the bomb explodes? It's an important part of your life, right? Time is limited in your life. Don't waste it on something that doesn't mean a thing to you. Focus on solving the problem from the root. For example, you could start learning new skills to be more persuasive or to start a new online business to earn money. You could start changing your attitude to the people around you. You could start working on giving positive compliments and blessings. Yes, this sounds easier said than done. When I sometimes have arguments with my wife, I can't help my emotions getting out of control. But I know in my head that creating bad environments in my house will just bring negative impact on my kids. Research says that kids who see their parents arguing against each other tend to go with low self-confidence. I've learned that the best job a father could do is to make the kid's mother laugh and feel happy. Nothing else is needed for the kids to grow up. When I first heard this, I was like, okay, looks like I'm not doing a perfect job here. It seems that men are relatively not that good at communicating and tend to be self-centered, which I was when women have more empathy in being great at communication. Especially when it comes to listening to other people talking, gosh, I really needed to train my skills here. But for me, having the mindset to take ownership in solving the fundamental problem definitely shifted my life. Story back to you. Even though the problems and solutions you're facing isn't easy, and even though some things can't be changed overnight, if it still means a lot to you, start working on it. If something is blocking you for who you want to become, your dream and passion that is lying somewhere in the attic covered with dust, bring them back to life. Is this stressful? Yes it is, but only until you make the decision to swallow the stress and move forward. Do you want to live a life passively? 
feeling uncontrollable and stressful for the rest of your life. We need to change. I believe life is all about growing, changing, and challenging new things. Once you accept the beautiful mindset of taking ownership, you'll stop feeling like a victim, gaining more control of your life, taking the decision and actions on your own call, to stop being passive and becoming more active and spontaneous. We all know we're going to die one day. We only got one shot at life. Take that shot so you don't regret it. Stop living a life on autopilot. Stop betraying yourself and depleting your soul and energy. Have the courage to face the problem in front of you. In the end, I guarantee you that the struggles will make you grow bigger and stronger. The problems you're facing now, someone has gone through somewhere in mankind history. And guess what? Those struggles will be the life for someone out there one day in the future. Yes, your struggles can eventually save someone else who is suffering in the exact same thing. So embrace your struggles. If the bridge you're trying to cross was burnt down, be creative enough to build a bridge and get over it. Take ownership of your life and let's start living an amazing one. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn how to reset your life for success, the next video to watch is in the link below. See you in the next video. Bye bye.